They look like they're peaking at the right time. The scrum has been outstanding. Gareth Thomas and Ryan Elias. Thomas Francis, the second most successful scrum of the quarterfinals, posting real power and experience. Will Rowlands has made the most tackles in this Welsh side, and his combination with Adam Beard has ensured great line-out success as well. The one real change, sadly, is the loss of Talupi Falata, who broke his arm. Aaron Wainwright comes in, combines with the two youngsters, Tommy Rafael and Captain Jack Morgan. They have both been just sensational. Plenty of experience in the halfbacks too. Gareth Davies has been rock steady. Dan Bigger, his usual composed self at number 10, had a bit of a problem with his foot. Seems OK. Nick, Nick Tompkins has raised his game enormously. It's also helped having George North outside him and plenty of speed and desire in Josh Adams and Louis Riesamer to run from the back. Liam Williams, the calm amongst the young fellas. Well, the bench has got a good blend as well, but most importantly for this Welsh team, the attack, ball in hand, has been accurate in the 22. A little cumbersome out. If they can sharpen that up today, they could well find themselves in a Rugby World Cup semi-final to the team that put on that stellar performance and win over Japan. None in the front row. He may well have been a little tempted. The scrum has been an area of concern for him. Thomas Gazzo, Julian Montoya, the captain, and Francisco Gomez Codela, statistically anyway, the worst scrum in the quarterfinals. Guido Petty, Thomas Lavanini provide some real grunt in the second row. Two real workhorses, and of course, the line-out for Argentina has not been bad at all. Sadly, though, no Pablo Montero ripped his hamstring. It means he's probably out of the tournament, certainly out of this game as a result. Juan Martin Gonzalez moves from eight to six. The talented Facunda Ita comes in at eight, and the workhorse Marcus Crema, the most tackles in this team, the, the last member of that trio. A massive surprise and big change at scrum offs is the return of 34-year-old Thomas Cabelli, combined with the ever-growing Santiago Carreras. Chocobadas and Lucio Cinto have been outstanding in the midfield. It's an area where Argentina concentrate a lot of their attack. They've got pace out wide. Matteo Carreras and fairly dangerous as all. And Malia has carried up the most carries and most meters made. It's been the same old problems, though, for this team. Defense and discipline coupled on the tote. They'll need to improve in those two areas if they are to find a way to progress. down initially Emiliano Buffelli on the halfway line already a couple of good collisions and there's some nice flat ball here for Reece Salmon he's got some space a little chip kick over the top sweeping back and covering nicely oh it's Buffelli who almost lost control of it Chukobarez and now Buffelli ridden back in the tackle flat for Petty and a little tip on for Montoya and it's there now for Kubeli he can't find a way through building some nice phases though Los Pumas little pick and go from Gajol never back on side and they've earned a penalty caught the Welsh offside Gomez Cadella lines up for a free carry a free run at the line Just pushed it across the face. An early miss. First Five. scrum. Oh, it's such a big moment. Six. Such a, a huge break, part five. of the, the base, the foundation of the modern game. And it's rock solid at the Play moment. On. Just starts to collapse, and that allows Wainwright to clear. And again, Wales liking to work a little midfield move with Davis. And now coming forward into the line is Liam Williams. Little change of direction, losing his footing. And just to reset and go again. Coming back into the traffic is Wainwright. Switching to number eight to David Falatau is all north, has just stepped up. The offload is brilliant for Davis, the ball back in field, and Wales are on the board. It's the veteran Dan Bigger. Skinned in the middle. Nice, clever play. Bigger's come around the corner once no, or no. twice there, ran that I good inside that line. A little slip there. There was a bit of space out wide and then just not organised around the pillars of the, the, the ball, breakdown. Please. The inside ball scathing, ball. scything through. Goes the numberless player. 
big is in under the pole. I think um, Yaku Paper's done himself a harm as well. He looked to be limping a little bit. It's oh, resulted Gillespie. in this try to Dan Bigger. He'll get the chance to very quickly convert it. The clock was ticking. Final with that wonderful piece of play. Very quick ball, but right slicing through the midfield. Good support play from Thank the Welsh team. Into my call, just gone. I couldn't keep up with play there. We're going to have to change referee. Give it over to Mr. Dixon here. OK, just give us a minute to swap. Thank you. Unfortunately, man. Well, this is so unfortunate for Yako Piper. He took a knock. He, it was Montoja who made the run, and he just got in a tangle, and his calf's gone in it. What disappointment for him. Yeah, I'm not guessing it's as disappointing for him as it is for everyone else. He's just got a little bump. I saw him just trying to keep up with play there. He looked behind, hobbling a little bit. He's limping off there. Experienced South African referee. So Cole Dixon will replace him in the middle, is what he said. Just starting Tipped to over. press again here. Oh, the Welsh looking to capitalise on Argentinian errors. OK, one blue offside. And they've caught them offside, conceding penalty advantage here, Argentina. Blue offside. Very kickable position as well. Strikes it sweetly straight. Down the middle, adds another three. And Wales go out to a 10-0 lead after 20 minutes. Over 15. This one down the back for Gonzalez. He uh, peels away. Coming forward to take it as Sinti. And a penalty. This time Wales in all over it, just ragged. To extend the lead. He's got all the points so far. He's hooked this one, though, bigger. Missed it well left. Wales all crammed in tight. Offside, As number Cabelli one, ducks never got in and they've got the penalty out of it. A bit of a free shot here for Maroney. Six metres short. Brilliant work Good. to get it. Ball Line. to stop him there. He hit the penalty. Argentina do get on the board. Off the boot of Emiliano Buffelli. They still have possession and into their tenth phase. Okay, advantage offside. And they've got advantage too, and they pour forward once more the offload and the little step and jump, and Kamehameha loses control. So we're just going to see what starts the whole situation because we've only got the end in the on shot field. from Josh Adams. So, Dico, so what we have here is after the ball, after you blew the whistle, that is the action by the number 11 red. The reason why we put it on the screen is because we weren't sure what started it. 11 red has taken the player and the blood whistle has been blown. So it's going to be a penalty over here against the player. It's been all about Argentina running into space the last two minutes. Emiliano Buffelli adds three more to the total. We eventually get to half time in Marseille. It's been a long first half, but it's tight as well. Wales leading Argentina 10 points to six at half time in the quarter final. Second half of the quarter-final underway. It's a deep raking restart, and it was Buffelli who got back to knock it down on Argentina's side and tidied up by his halfback, Cabelli. Julian Montoya, the captain of Argentina, finds his man, Guido Petty, in the middle, and here come Los Pumas early in the half. It's Crema throwing himself into the Welsh defence. The ball is seven. slow, and they've got advantage as well. Strokes it over, and the Pumas fans are on their feet. It's 10 points to nine now. Wales with the slimmest of margins. Trying to carve a way through. There's no way through the Argentina defence at the moment, and they've earned a penalty as well. To put Argentina in front for the first time, Buffelli's going to curve. Good throw from Lake to find Wainwright. They quickly, quickly peel away for Riffle. Williams. First real attacking chance in the half for Wales. It stops with Adams at the moment. Pick and go. Better keep it tight for a spell. You, just, you pushed him into it. Wales will keep coming away to the right. Their big man. 
Chapman of picks and meters up the middle at the moment. Morgan, the captain. No way through the front row. Questions, though, being asked of the Argentina defence as it's taken to the line by Tompkins. Bruni had to pull himself back out of there as Williams just clings on to the fingertips. Again, it's a little ragged and then runs straight into Gajo. And now a massive space up the middle for Thomas Williams who goes himself the halfback and puts Wales back in front. Opportunity one taken in the second half. Little dummy. Pull up board at hook line and sinker. Through he went. Joel Sklaubi out there in 17 as well. Clevy oh. does find his man in the middle. That's one. Got some forward momentum now, has Argentina. Clevy just pops the little head up. Which way can he go? Has to go himself and he's ridden into the ground. Only a couple of metres short. Pick and go again, Argentina. The new man, Sklavi, onto the field. Inching their way, trying to find the equalising score. Yeah, hold it, hold it, Wales looking to get hands all over this. It's slow, but it's still there for Argentina, and Sklavi's got it down. Five kilograms of Argentinian beef just made his way over the line there. He is big, he's powerful, he's made a number of carries already from close range. He is awfully hard to stop. Leg drive good, body position perfect, over he goes. Explosive little pick and go, impossible to stop. Buffelli is cool, calm and collected. And Argentina nudge ahead once more. Exceptional again, the young Wales captain, flat. For Dyer, oh, he's electric, he's dangerous, he's through the tackle. Rio Dyer looking to swoop away, accelerate away, just stopped by Sanchez. Ball still alive, Reece Salmon for the corner. Oh, what cover defence it was coming across. Got the grounding, so he's definitely grounded the ball before he's wanting to touch, but I don't know whether he's grounded on the line or short. Okay, so on the field, no chance. Never had a chance, but somehow he's got awfully close. Has he got close enough? No is the answer. Yeah. I have a decision for you. Yeah. The ball was lost into touch by Red. Okay, so Matthias Moroni it was. Correct. The 32-year-old coming across to stop the super talent Lewis Reese Samet. Set! Oh! Scrum goes down, Wainwright clears. Oh, pinch stolen! And it's a clear run to the line for the veteran Nicolas Sanchez to perhaps see a semi-final for Argentina! Snapped it out the air. Wales came with the complicated attack. Read it beautifully. Had the speed to get there. Looked like he might get caught from behind. Had runners with him. Oh, what a moment. Look at that for a little read, summed it up perfectly. In he goes, and there goes the game, you can only believe. Out of Welsh hands. Time ticking away, well and truly now against Wales, and penalty Argentina! Sanchez with the final say. And Argentina, the class of 2023, follows the history makers of 2015. Their own slice of history. Argentina 29, Wales 17.